Hi everyone, my name is Fatimata and I'm so excited to be filming this video for College Express. It's long overdue, basically. Um, and so I'm gonna be talking to you guys about basically some tips that I have for getting through high school and managing your extracurriculars. Number one, have a to-do list, have some type of notebook or paper where you write down the things you wanna complete in a day. Now, I think it's really important to start off your day with like this list of things you wanna do or wanna achieve because it makes you wanna work for it and then you see like the different types of things you have to do and it helps you prioritize. So number one is having a to-do list. Number two, take, um, taking time out of that to-do list to have self-care. I think a lot of times when we go through high school, we want to do like 50 different things. And, you know, that's OK. You can be involved in many different things, but also make sure that you're taking care of yourself at the end of the day, because if you're not taking care of yourself, then you won't have the ability mentally and physically to do the things you want to do on that to do list. Number three. Um, Focus on the things you're passionate about and you love about. Yes, academics are important to the college process, but I think it's really important for people to realize their passions early on because, not early on, but like focus like trying to figure out your passion and like which way you wanna go because doing that will allow you to not only um, think about what you wanna do after high school, but also it will give you a chance of do what you love and make you happy. Um, number four, um, block out some time to have fun with your friends. I know that some people might disagree with me when they say like, you don't wanna be too social or like, but I think it really helps in not only just having some time away from all the things you have going on, but also like building a network, network and having people you can connect with and share opportunities with and study with and do these things on your to-do list with is really important. Number five, um, I think in high school, people tend to forget a pivotal role that your parents play in your lives. And I think um, not everybody is fortunate enough to have their parents or both parents in their lives. But if you are, I think it's really important to have them a part of the the process because they get to see you grow and get to know and learn about the new person that you're becoming because we're constantly growing and changing. And I think sometimes it's really hard for parents to adapt. It's really hard for you to adapt to the new changes that are going on in your life. And I think just having that support system with you is really important, like figuring out your support system will help you in the long run because you'll have people you can talk to, confide in and yeah, so those are my five tips to helping you through the college process and also helping you through high school. Now, switching over to the scholarships. Um, the way I found scholarships was through friends and social media and also just figuring out, like, play, like using the internet as my tool. Like, Google is a great tool for you to figure out scholarships. And also local scholarships in the newspapers, look at those. I think people underestimate local scholarships because they're like, oh, there's not this big brand thing, but like local scholarships can also help you pay for college. And, and for me in my situation, like being a first gen low income student, it was really important for me to find scholarships that would help me um, pay for college. So one of them being the Coca-Cola scholarship. Um, that, was the best thing I would say that ever happened to me because I realized that I there are other people, other students in the country that also care about making their communities a better place. And that's what the Coca-Cola Scholarship is all about. Finding students who not who look beyond them beyond themselves and beyond any boundaries or obstacles they're facing and making the best out of it and making their communities better places to live. Um, and the scholarship opens in August and it's an initial for the first round is an initial application like your name, where you're from and um, extracurriculars you're doing, your GPA and things like that. Then they cut it down to semi-finalist and in the semi-finalist round, I, if I recall correctly, 
it gives you a chance to like further explain each extracurricular that you have done and then after that they have finals in which they have also essays that you have to complete and then an interview and then they cut it down to the 150 plus scholars and um don't discourage yourself from applying because don't discourage yourself not just from applying to this scholarship but from applying to anything in your life i think people are so scared to take risk and so scared to take chances but you never know what's going to happen to you you never know what's going to happen in your life so don't discourage yourself continue to work hard continue to motivate yourself i never thought in a million years that i would get some of the scholarships that i did get and i never thought in a million years that someone would see who like me as more than just numbers or what is on the paper. Because at the end of the day, it's what you're passionate about and it's about who really cares about their community. And um, I spent not just high school, but even before high school, I looked to my community and I was like, there's so many dis there's so many disparities and I saw so many issues affecting my own life and my community. And I was like, I have to do something about this. I'm not saying everyone has to go out and become the next Barack Obama or like the next Michelle, but like, I think it's important for us to see, like not everyone, not everyone can see their purpose. Not everyone can see themselves becoming something. But I think once you have that gut feeling that you're passionate or that you just tapped into that one skill and maybe just something as simple as writing, use that as a way to cope with what's going on with you, but also use it as a way to make other people's lives better. Because I think people underestimate small versus big impact. And I think smaller ones lead up to those big, the huge impact that you're going to make. Um, and yeah, so I'm so excited. Um, thank you so much for listening and watching my video. Um, and if you have any questions, my Instagram is Fatimata, F-A-T-I-M-A-T-A, underscore C-H-A-M. My Twitter is Fatimata Cham1, I believe. I'm not too sure. And um, let me know if you have any questions or if you just need someone to talk to, if you need advice on something, or if you need help filling out any scholarship applications, or if you just want to hang, you know, chill. Um, let me know. I'm super excited. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Thank you.